On October 20, 2024, a drone targeted the coastal residence of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The attack, though unsuccessful in inflicting damage or casualties, represents a bold and significant escalation in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hezbollah. The incident has immediately raised concerns about the increasing use of drone technology in the region and the potential for further conflict. The drone was intercepted by Israeli defense forces before it could reach its intended target. Netanyahu was reportedly not present at the residence at the time of the attack. Despite the lack of physical harm, the incident sent shockwaves through Israel, serving as a stark reminder of the constant threat the nation faces from hostile actors. This attack is not an isolated incident. It comes at a time of heightened tensions between Israel and Hezbollah, with both sides engaging in a dangerous game of brinkmanship. The drone attack has further inflamed the situation, raising fears of a potential escalation into a full-blown conflict with devastating consequences for the entire region. Hezbollah has claimed responsibility for the attack. They released a statement asserting it as a legitimate act of resistance. The attack was described as a warning to Israel. Hezbollah's claim marks a significant escalation. The group has a long history of conflict with Israel. This attack on the Prime Minister's residence is a new level of aggression. It is a calculated move to project strength and sow fear. Hezbollah aims to demonstrate its reach and willingness to escalate. This action has heightened regional tensions and concerns of wider conflict. Israel, in the aftermath of the attack, has vowed a strong and decisive response. While details of the planned retaliation remain unclear, Israeli officials have emphasized that they will take all necessary measures to protect their citizens and national security. This could potentially involve airstrikes against Hezbollah targets in Lebanon or Syria, further escalating the cycle of violence. The drone attack has also exposed potential vulnerabilities in Israel's sophisticated air defense systems, prompting calls for a comprehensive review and strengthening of security measures. While Israel has invested heavily in technologies like the Iron Dome, designed to intercept rockets and missiles, the drone attack highlights the evolving nature of threats and the need for adaptable defense strategies. The incident has also reignited the debate within Israel about the use of force against Hezbollah. Some voices within the government are calling for a more aggressive approach, arguing that decisive military action is necessary to deter future attacks. This hawkish stance, however, carries the risk of sparking a wider conflict, a risk that Israel must carefully consider as it weighs its response. Section 4. Breaching the Defenses. Examining the Vulnerability. The fact that a drone, even if intercepted, managed to penetrate Israeli airspace and reach the vicinity of the Prime Minister's residence has raised serious concerns about the effectiveness of Israel's multi-layered air defense systems. This incident suggests that groups like Hezbollah are becoming increasingly adept at exploiting potential gaps and vulnerabilities in these defenses. The attack highlights the evolving nature of warfare in the 21st century. Drones, relatively inexpensive and readily available, are becoming the weapon of choice for non-state actors and even some states. Their ability to be deployed quickly and discreetly coupled with their increasing sophistication poses a significant challenge to traditional air defense systems. This incident should serve as a wake-up call for Israel and other nations facing similar threats. There is an urgent need to invest in research and development of counter-drone technologies that can effectively detect, track, and neutralize these threats. This includes not only technological solutions but also the development of new tactics and strategies to counter the evolving threat posed by drones. Section 5. A History of Aggression Drones in the Middle East The use of drones in the Middle East is not new. The region has become a testing ground for this technology, with various actors deploying drones for reconnaissance, surveillance, and attacks. This proliferation of drones has added complexity and danger to the volatile region. Recent drone attacks have had devastating consequences. These incidents underscore the growing threat posed by drone technology. As drone technology advances, more sophisticated attacks are likely. The international community must establish norms and regulations to prevent misuse and minimize risks. Section 6. The Bigger Picture, Regional Instability and the Future of Warfare 
The drone attack on Netanyahu's residence is not an isolated incident, it must be understood within the broader context of regional instability. The Middle East remains a tinderbox, rife with tensions and conflicts, fueled by historical grievances and political rivalries. The increasing use of drones in the region is a symptom of this broader instability. As traditional powers like the United States reduce their military footprint, other actors are stepping in to fill the void. This has led to a more fragmented and unpredictable security environment. The drone attack on Netanyahu's residence is a harbinger of things to come. It underscores the need for a new security architecture in the Middle East.